Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We want you to be part of this program. Give us a shout, 844-236-6010. Let us help you deal with a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with. Or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you with that as well. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity formulations, ingredients, skin care, truth skin health products, comments, success story that you'd like to share, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you have advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs and websites. We've got longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off of the websites for a one-time $25 fee. You can join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can earn thank you checks, start yourself a home business, maybe even quit your day job. Make as much or as little money as you want. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can sign up right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, if you're dealing with burns or sunburns or eczema or rashes, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream is made with a big dose of fat-soluble vitamin C, as well as cholesterol in our transdermal delivery matrix, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol 5% Gel. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking about phytonutrients and the connective tissue in the body. We actually started this whole discussion talking about the connective tissue, and we have been talking about the connective tissue for a long time. The connective tissue is the bulk of the body, the bulk of our physical structure. It's the most relevant compound or the most relevant component of the body when it comes to health, when it comes to disease, the lack of health. The connective tissue is what gives us our shape, our distinct shape. Without our connective tissue, we'd have no bones, no joints, no cartilage, no fat, no blood. Without our connective tissue, we would be left with a flat, hairy, lumpy pancake within an envelope of cells. The connective tissue is what gives us our distinct shape. Without connective tissue, our muscles would become a mushy pudding. Our internal organs would fall apart like a cheap suit. As we age, our connective tissue breaks down and we lose our shape. And this is what gives the elderly their characteristic appearance. If you want to avoid the situation, build the connective tissue. Use protein, protein supplements, hyaluronic acid supplements. Make sure you're eating bone soup. Make sure you're eating cartilage. Cartilage, you can get cartilage capsules. You can get cartilage factors in the glucogel caps. Silica gel, we haven't talked about silica, but we will. Wonderful, incredible supplement for the connective tissue. Very, very underappreciated, almost impossible to find. Liquid silica gel, I use it every day. I use, uh, I use, uh, uh, I make my own. I use a powder that I get from a pharmacy wholesaler and just put it in water. You can get a product called Liquid Silica Gel by a company called Abkit, A-B-K-I-T, at most health, most health food stores. 
The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, of course, are important. Cholesterol is important. Yes, cholesterol. And if you are laboring under the silly notion that you have to suppress your cholesterol to be healthy, you have drank the Kool-Aid. And if your doctor's doing it, he needs to go back to medical school. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease, period. It may be associated, but it's not the cause. You got to eat fats, resistance training, exercise, intermittent fasting, calorie restriction. These are all wonderful ways to build your connective tissue. And the connective tissue, by the way, is not just important for the structure of the body. It's also the part of the body that feeds the cells. It's also the part of the body that delivers oxygen to the cells. The connective tissue detoxifies the cells. The connective tissue electrifies the cells. The connective tissue hydrates the cells. Remember, all disease is cell disease. And the connective tissue is feeding, oxygenating, detoxifying, electrifying, and hydrating the cells. If the connective tissue breaks down, none of that's going to happen. If the connective tissue breaks down, it is a short jump to cell disease. When the connective tissue breaks down, we get sick, period. That's it. When the connective tissue breaks down, we get sick. It's not just looks. It's not just appearance. Yes, that's important. Cellulite, wrinkles, saggy skin, stooped and hunched appearance. These are all connective tissue problems. Neuropathy can be a connective tissue problem. But the major issue, or, or maybe one of the major issues, is cellular breakdown. Yeah, without the connective tissue, you're not feeding your cells. That's why bone soup is so powerful. This relationship between connective tissue breakdown and overall disease is not really recognized. It's a hidden cause of disease. Most of us, if we ever think of connective tissue, when we think of it, we're thinking of arth arthritis, or we're thinking of our joints, or maybe our back maybe have some back pain or a herniated disc or something. Those are obviously connective tissue problems, but the fact that the connective tissue is responsible for the sustenance of the cells, that's some, somewhat hidden. That means connective tissue disease is related to strokes, heart disease, chronic urinary tract infections, uh, uh, interstitial cystitis, kidney disease, stomach ulcers, leaky gut syndrome, ulcerative colitis, acne, psoriasis, eczema, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. Neuropathies, diabetic neuropathy is a, is a connective tissue problem in many ways. These are all examples of health challenges that are secretly associated with the breakdown of connective tissue. And the connective tissue breaks down for lots of reasons. We've been hitting the nutritional aspect, the deficiency aspect, but cigarette smoke will destroy your connective tissue. Sugar will destroy your connective tissue. Psychological issues will destroy your connective tissue. Don't underestimate the power of psychology. Mental and emotional stresses or more accurately, strains. Strains are the response to stress. Mental and emotional stresses and strains can cause deterioration of the connective tissue. Reading from the Russian journal Aerospace and Environmental Medicine, March 2004, quote, animals predisposed to emotional stress develop more pronounced connective tissue diseases evident as hemorrhages and edema, unquote as well as other signs of connective tissue deterioration. From the journal Urology, October 2011, quote, Psychological stress plays a role in the exacerbation of urinary tract disorders such as painful bladder syndrome and overactive bladder, both of which are related to connective tissue deterioration. In a way, stress and the resulting strain, strain is the response to the stress, in a way the stress and strain are the major diseases of our time. We have a culture that not only promotes stresses and strains, but increasingly so, more and more, as the months and the years go by, we're under more and more stress and strain. And as our pressures to perform and support ourselves and financially increase to survive, so do the promotion of the ideas and the memes of fear and survival. It's in the news. It's almost like fear mongering is intentional. And this is why if we're sick or if we're aging at an accelerated pace or breaking down faster than we want to, we got to be proactive in leveraging relaxation daily, multiple times a day, every hour. We should be stopping and relaxing every hour. We should be stopping and relaxing every minute. We should be thinking about the relaxation response as much as possible if we're serious about recovery. But we have a culture and a society, we've created a culture and society that does the exact opposite at every turn. We're induced to be in fear, uh, fear mode or survival mode. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. On The Bright Side, I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, resveratrol, the lignans, the polyphenols, phytonutrients, we're going to get into that here 
in a little bit. I got more ranting to do about, uh, about fear mongering. Oh my God, fear mongering everywhere. Do we really know? Do we, do we really need to know about uh, uh, about China's leader coming to visit or children killed in a Syrian gas attack or Team Obama spying on Trump? Do we really need to know these things? They just promote fear. They just promote survival threats. They just promote the idea that life is not safe. We want to relax, leverage the relaxation response if, if we're going to be healthy. We got to pay less attention to political and geopolitical nonsense that is irrelevant to our daily lives. I was a political junkie for many years. I feel so much better now that I don't watch the news. You know, we don't need to know this stuff. Now, if you're healthy and you want to indulge yourself, that's, that's one thing. But if you're sick, if your body is breaking down, God forbid if you have cancer or heart disease or some kind of serious health challenge, do we really need to know that the wife of a Tennessee teacher accused of kidnapping wants a divorce or about Tom Brady's stolen jersey or about a deadly Russian blast carried out by a, a, a suicide bomber? These are all from Drudge Report and CNN. I got them off, off the website today. If we're healthy, that's one thing. If we want to indulge ourselves in sensationalism and yellow journalism, great. But if we're sick, the fear and the uncertainty that is promoted via the internet and the press and screaming angry radio hosts are only going to make matters worse. If you're reading or listening or watching something that makes you angry or scared, put it down, turn it off. If you have to work or otherwise participate in some unpleasant situation that you don't like, learn stress management techniques, breathing, meditation, spirituality. When we're told that Jesus saves, it's not gibberish. It's not hyperbole. It's real. And it doesn't have to be Jesus. It's the divine force, which is the force of safety. Saving means safety. It's the force of the parasympathetic nervous system. Ponder God or the divine intelligence of the cosmos or however you, whatever metaphor you want to use, and you automatically relax. Think about politics and the economy, the drudge report, and the opposite's going to happen. Worldliness, the world, the mainstream society that we structured is the opposite of the parasympathetic nervous system. It's the opposite of safety. It's the force of the sympathetic nervous system. Is it any wonder why human beings suffer from an absolute epidemic of sympathetically driven degenerative diseases? Behind all chronic degenerative diseases, you will find the sympathetic nervous system overactivated, which is the fear and survival threat response. It's as simple as that, you guys. Chronic degenerative disease equals sympathetic nervous system equals fear and survival threat. The bright side is the good news about health that is primarily about nutrition. Yes, we talk about nutrition every day. I love talking about nutrition. I love chemistry. I love biochemistry. But in fairness, if I'm going to be honest about health, it's not just about nutrition. It's not just the healthy start pack. It's not just intermittent fasting. Yes, these are all important but only because they reduce stresses. The reason nutrition is so important is because one of the major stresses on the body is a lack of nutrients. So nutrients are important because they help the body handle stresses, but so does deep breathing. So do hot baths and massage and yoga and spirituality, meditation and getting in touch with the living intelligence of the human body that's all around us, that we live within. Just turn your eyes upward towards the middle of your head towards your pineal gland, the seat of the soul, as Descartes called it, and you will automatically go into an alpha brainwave state of relaxation. Hypnosis, hypnotists know this very well. Hypnotists know that when you turn your eyes upward, you automatically relax. When you listen to a rhythm or you somehow connect with a rhythm, you automatically relax. These are easy ways to access the relaxation response. Now, we've been talking about phytonutrients for the last couple of weeks, especially lately the polyphenols, the lignans we talked about, flax lignans. We talked about the still beans. We'll still have a few more things to say about the still beans. We're going to be talking about something called phenolic acids and then the flavonoids. And guess what? What do you think these substances are, these phytonutrients, the lignans and the polyphenols and, and resveratrol? Why do plants make them? These phytonutrients are actually stress management chemicals. They help the plants deal with stress. They're the plant's protective chemicals. They are produced as a way for plants to handle the stresses and the strains of their day-to-day -day lives. Plants have stresses and strains too. The stresses and strains of a plant are rabbits and insects and the sun. And the flavonoids and the lignans and the phytonutrients protect the, the plant from the insects and the animals and the sun. And the reason they're so important for us 
is because they help us handle the stresses of our day-to-day lives. We eat the stress management chemicals of the plant. We call them phytonutrients, and they help us with our stresses, whether those stresses are psychological or physiological. Yesterday, we talked about the still beans and resveratrol. The still beans and resveratrol are estrogen balancing chemicals. Estrogen is a stress hormone. The still beans and resveratrol, you get them by eating legumes and berries and grapes, drinking wine. All of these help our body handle stresses. They're the plant's stress management chemicals and they help us handle our stresses. Resveratrol is a classic example of a stress management chemical. Resveratrol is an antioxidant. It has protective effects against estrogen, unlike drug still beans, DES we talked about, which is a a, a powerful pharmaceutical estrogen-like substance. Resveratrol helps helps balance out estrogen. Given all the problems associated with estrogen and estrogen toxicity and xenoestrogens and catechol estrogens, it makes a lot of sense to use resveratrol. If you want to get a good resveratrol supplement, get a, a Longevity product called Cell Shield, made with quercetin and resveratrol, as well as turmeric, another all-time incredibly important protective substance, turmeric. We'll talk about that one here later on. Use, your resver- use resveratrol supplementally or use, uh, use it in foods. It might be a good idea. Uh, for folks who are dealing with autoimmune diseases to get some resveratrol. <clears throat> Excuse me. Autoimmunity is a classic example of a survival response run amok. The immune system being our defensive, our defense system. Autoimmunity is a classic example of an immune system that's just going haywire. A defensive system that's going haywire. PMS, if you have PMS, resveratrol might help you. PCOS, polycystic ovarian, ovarian syndrome, infertility issues, asthma, any immune issues really. Athletes and bodybuilders benefit from resveratrol. Resveratrol, we talked about yesterday, how it protects cholesterol from, from uh, oxidation, from oxycholesterol. Cholesterol is not a problem. It is not a problem. Oxycholesterol very well could be a problem. That's oxidized cholesterol. That's one reason why you don't want to cook your eggs too much, by the way. Eggs are, or any cholesterol-containing food. Meat, organ meats, liver. You don't want to overcook anything with cholesterol in it because you're going to produce this oxycholesterol compound that indeed is a problem. And if you suspect you may have a problem with oxycholesterol, use antioxidants, especially resveratrol, also vitamin E. I talked a little bit about vitamin E a couple weeks ago. That stuff is absolutely mind-blowingly important. 400 international units a day. You can't, you can't possibly get enough vitamin E unless you're supplementing. If you're trying to get it from food, that's not going to happen. Resveratrol is non-toxic. Resveratrol, you, know, you can't, you're not going to be able to supplement with too high a dose of resveratrol because it's not available. Resveratrol is really expensive. Resveratrol is also important for protecting your heart. It's not totally 100% clear that it can increase lifespan in human beings, but in animals, according to the Linus Pauling Institute, resveratrol has been shown to increase the lifespan of yeast, worms, fruit flies, fish, and mice. And by the way, the Linus Pauling Institute has an awesome, awesome website for nutritional information. Just Google the Linus Pauling Institute. They are really one of the most important good guys in the world in nutrition. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will return right after this with your phone calls. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. All our programs are archived at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss a program or want to review a program or direct somebody to a specific topic, we have search engines at brightsideben.com and uh, benfuchsarchives.com, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And lest I forget, brightsidehealth.com is my shopping my shopping store, my internet shopping site for all kinds of cool products, bone broth protein, CBD, pure, uh, pure hemp technologies, CBD. CBD is amazing stuff. I was talking to a, a rheumatologist on, uh, on uh, Sunday, the son of one of our listeners and sponsors, Dr. Kanawi. I hope you're listening out there in Panama City, Florida. 
Uh, so Dr. Kanawi's son called me, he's also a, a physician, a rheumatologist, and we had a great little talk about the benefits of CBD. And he has experienced exactly what I've experienced personally with my own eyes, the incredible benefits of the cannab uh, cannabidiol, cannabidiol is CBD. And this stuff is amazing for anxiety, for pain. Uh, even, and I, I know I'm not supposed to say it, but there's all kinds of literature, and you can just get on the internet and look, uh, even for cancer, especially for pet cancer for some reason. If you're dealing with neuropathies, you're dealing with any kind of pain issues, get on my website, brightsidehealth.com, and check out our Pure Hemp Technology, Technologies CBD product, and uh, also our other, our other uh, other products, bone broth protein, and we've got some vegan protein powder up there, as well as coconut powder, really tasty stuff. You can add it to your smoothies and our bone broth protein, and of course, our digestive enzymes. Got a whole bunch of different enzyme products at brightsidehealth.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on, if you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. And we do have a couple lines open, 844-236-6010. From the Journal of Leukocyte Biology, new report links early life antibiotic use to inflammatory gut diseases in adulthood. How do you like that? You take antibiotics when you're a kid and you end up with inflammatory gut diseases in adulthood. You know when you take an antibiotic, it can take months to years for your gut to repopulate with bacteria. And I sometimes wonder how much of our, our chronic health diseases and chronic health crisis is related to this problem because we're all getting antibiotics. I'm not even just talking about people on antibiotics for long periods of time, which nobody should ever be on. Antibiotics should be on and off and only on in emergencies, surgeries or some kind of emergency infection. But if you're on an antibiotic for a long period of time or you're drinking a lot of milk or eating a lot of fish or drinking water, you are exposing yourself to large amounts of antibiotics that can lead to big time gut problems and big time gut problems can lead to everything else. It's especially tragic when it happens to kids. Kids on antibiotics, especially if they're on antibiotics for a long period of time, that is a, just a tragic situation. And it's one of the main reasons why I got out of being a, a dispensing pharmacist because I was the guy dispensing the antibiotics to the kids and they would keep coming back for ear infections and for sinus infections, ear infections especially. If your kid has chronic infections, chronic mucus, chronic snottiness, and the doctor's prescribing him an antibiotic, this is a very bad strategy because the problem is usually related to dysbiosis in the first place. That is, messed up, get, messed up gut bacteria cause the problem in the first place, then you get an antibiotic and it makes matters worse. Any kind of uh, uh, phlegm or mucus or uh, uh, chronic infections or even allergies need to be regarded as digestive issues first and foremost. When they happen in kids, think milk. Also gluten, of course, and cereal grains, legumes, peanuts, beans, those can also be a problem as well. Please don't leave your kids on an antibiotic for a long period of time, and please don't keep your kids on antibiotics recurrently. If a kid has to, if you need an antibiotic, there's times you need an antibiotic, I understand that but not over and over and over again, and not for a long, not, not without a break, not for long periods of time. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna read one more story here, then we'll get to your phone calls. This is from the Endocrine Society's 99th annual meeting in Orlando, Florida. Low calorie sweeteners promote fat accumulation in human fat. How do you like that? You, get, you, you use your Diet Coke because you wanna lose weight and now you got more fat. Reading from, uh, Reading from the research here, quote, low calorie artificial sweeteners appear to play havoc with the body's metabolism and large consumption of these sugar substitutes could promote fat accumulation, especially in people who are already obese. And that's a, a lot of the folks who are doing the Diet Coke with the uh, NutraSweet, the artificial sweeteners are already obese. The sweet taste is what you want to work with. You want to start to wean yourself away from the sweet taste. Whether or not artificial sweeteners are better or worse than sugar, you know what? I can't say. I don't know which is worse. Probably, I, if I had to guess, I'd say the artificial sweeteners are worse, but it, they're both bad. What you want to do is wean yourself off of the sweet taste. If you've ever stopped eating sugar for a couple of days, you know that when you start eating something sweet again after two or three days of laying off the sweet stuff, the, sh the sweet is, is powerful. Stuff that you used to be able to eat, you can't eat if you take a couple of days off of sugar. So you want to get to that point where 
you, your body is resensitized to the sweet taste and just a tiny little bit of sweet gives you the sweetness that you need. And the best way to do it is one, laying off the sugar, two, replacing the sugar with glutamine powder. Glutamine powder is a wonderful sugar uh, uh, way to, I don't wanna say wean yourself off of sugar, but your body can derive energy from glutamine in a fashion similar to how it derives it from glucose. So using glutamine powder is a great way to, uh, uh, to combat sugar cravings. Protein can help you as well bone broth protein in particular because of the glycine content. Glycine can also help you, help, help you wean yourself off of sugar. More fat, the ketogenic diet. You want to wean yourself off of the sweet taste. That's the secret. Not replace the sugar with an artificial sweetener because, of course, you're going to get more and more we're finding. You're going to get this, not the same problem, but different problems with the artificial sweeteners, which are really nasty chemicals, some of them. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Keith in New Jersey. Thanks for your patience. Keith, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Ben. I have uh, two questions for you, Ben. The first yes, one is when consuming, uh, like, pork lard or beef tallow from pasture-raised animals, which of these two is more beneficial for you? Pork or beef? Yeah, the lard or the tallow. So I heard that you get a lot of the EFAs from them. No, you don't get any. I don't know where you heard that. You don't get any EFAs from beef, from lard or bone tallow. So you get fats. You get saturated fats. EFAs are unsaturated fats. They're liquid fats. So no, neither are good sources of EFAs, but they're good sources of saturated fat, and saturated fat has its own benefits. They're both, the, 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 the most important reason to use those kinds of fats, saturated fats, and I much prefer coconut oil to lard, but some people like lard. Uh, the, the reason you want to use these fats is because they're stable. They don't break down, and it's the breakdown products of the fats that create the problems. Earlier in the program, we were talking about oxycholesterol. Oxidized fats, oxy fats, if you will, those are really problematic, and those are things you want to stay away from, and that's why cooking with lard or, um, or beef tallow or uh, coconut oil or butter, butter's probably the best, ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, if, if you haven't heard of ghee, that stuff is awesome. It tastes so unbelievably delicious, you can eat it right out of the spoon. It's clarified okay. butter. It's butter without the particles. That, I much prefer those. The reason they're important is because they're stable. And also, butter gives you a very, very interesting fat called butyric acid, which is, a, and we've talked about this in the past, is a technically called an SCFA or short-chain fatty acid. These short-chain fatty acids are wonderful for appetite suppression and also for other brain health benefits. And the coconut oil gives you MCTs, medium-chain triglycerides, which are great for energy. But you don't get any of that in the lard or the beef tallow. Uh, we're going to take a break. Keith, if you want to hang on, I'll get you. I'll finish up and come back from our break. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for your call. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side talking to Keith in New Jersey. Did that make sense, Keith? Butyric acid? Uh, yes, also does. MCTs and coconut oil. I'd go coconut oil and butter rather than lard. But, you know, some people like the taste of lard. Yeah, I it, it's not great because... Go back and forth. Yeah, it's probably best to mix them, up, mix them up a little bit. I'm just not sure what they give the pigs, you know. I'm always, I'm always a little careful with animal stuff. And, and there are times you need animal food. There are things in animals you can't get from plants, but you just yeah. never know. And, and the coconut tends to be pure and butter as well. Although, you know, of course, you got to be careful with butter too. Uh, anything else going on, ma'am? Yeah, the last question, Ben, is when consuming a raw egg, do you get the most benefit from the yolk or the part that uh, surrounds the yolk? By far and away, the yolk is the most powerful part of, of an egg. In fact, the yolk is gram for gram probably the most powerful piece of food you could ever ingest. There's so many good things about the yolk, it's hard to even, it's hard to list them all. Some of them, the carotenes and vitamin D and vitamin K and essential fats and magnesium, all the B complex. I mean, it's just incredible what's in that yolk. The white's good too. The white is mostly protein, but the, the yolk is just phenomenal. Don't throw out the yolk. If you see any restaurant or nutritionist or, or dietitian or doctor telling you to throw out the yolks, they don't know what the heck they're talking about and don't pay any attention to anything they're telling you. The yolk is unbelievably valuable. Yes, it's where the cholesterol is, but that's not really a problem either, as you know, if you've been listening to this program. Yeah, yeah. go yolk. And uh, you okay. want to make sure that the, the shell is very clean and fresh. Always be fresh with your eggs. All right, okay, Keith, well, have a beautiful day, much, man. man. Appreciate it. 
Good, good to talk to you, brother. Take care. All right, let's go off to uh, Dave in Connecticut. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How are you? Thank you for having me I'm on. I'm doing good. Sure. What's going on? Um, for the past, I'm 36 years old. For the past week, um, I went for an interview. Uh, was let's put it this way: I was in a stressful situation. Started last Tuesday, and I started getting heart palpitations, like chronic heart palpitations, every day. Mm. Um, probably like okay. every second beat. Um, okay, and that's not still, good. Yeah, still till today, and I'm just curious as to what other things do you have going on? Any bl- any blood sugar issues or anything like that? No, blood sugar's fine. Should be fine. Um, how, how how's your height to weight? What's your height to weight? I'm um, I'm five eight, uh, two thirteen. I'm um, you know Is muscular. A bodybuilder, muscular two thirteen. Yeah. You're in the gym. You're working out that kind of thing. Well, I haven't worked out in a while, but you know I, I probably. But you're muscular. Be. Yeah. Have you have cool. you noticed that you get noticed the belly fat where you didn't have it before? Uh, yeah. Are you eating sweets and that kind of stuff? Bread, pasta, potatoes? No. no. I'm, not, I'm not saying to be mean. I'm just, no? Yeah, yeah no, no. I was actually on a, I was trying to go ketogenic um, for the past month, um, which um, I didn't, I never got into ketosis and then slowly started eating legumes and, and brown rice right. pasta again. All right, so here's the deal. What you're talking about here is uh, sometimes they call them PVCs, premature ventricular contractions. Is that, they mentioned yeah. that to you? Okay, yeah. so, so here's the deal. When the heart is out of rhythm, whether it's a fibrillation or a PVC or any kind of arrhythmia or if you have angina, you're dealing with a stress response. Now, there's many things that can cause it. You, if, you listened, if you heard me talk at the beginning of the program, there's lots of things that can cause the stress response. I'm always hesitant to just say nutrition because there's all the emotional, psychological things, but I'm not going to go into that for right now. Just recognize that that can be a factor. You've got to relax the body, practicing deep breathing, using hot water, massage, yoga, all of these are strategies. If you're type A, you've got to be type A to have PVCs. I'm, I'm guessing, anyway, that you've got a type A personality, like your go-getter type of guy. Is that, yeah, does that describe yeah, you? Yeah. 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 Th- th- those are factors that you need to really address. It's great to be a go-getter. I'm one, too. But you've got to also leverage the relaxation response through anything you can do. Get a book called The Relaxation Response by Herbert Benson. He was a Harvard physician. I don't know if he's still alive. But he, it's a classic book, The Relaxation Response. Anybody should get it who's interested in and these kinds of ideas, uh, and read it. He's got some wonderful ideas in there for how to relax the body. Then you want to start using some some nutrients that can have uh, that can be very beneficial for the cardiovascular system. Omega three fatty acids. Use Udo's blend. Get on your healthy start pack. The B vitamins are incredibly important for the heart. Fifty milligrams a day of zinc w- would be very beneficial. Coenzyme Q ten, maybe a hundred milligrams a day. Magnesium is an awesome relaxing nutrient, especially for the heart. Maybe a thousand to two thousand milligrams a day, vitamin E, 400 international units a day. These are all uh, relaxing st- uh, nutrients that will help you relax, but you got to get on the whole mighty 90 when you're doing them. You don't want to just take CoQ10 or just magnesium. You want to do the whole healthy start pack, and then in addition, get some extra magnesium, some extra vitamin E, vitamin C also, get some extra vitamin C. Uh, I would also be getting some extra uh, B-complex. You can get something called a B100. The BTT will get you a bunch of B-complex, and then maybe a little bit extra fish oil or Udo's blend, which will get you some omega-3s. Focus on the relaxation response. That's a sign that the body's revved up. And that could be psychological. It could also be physiological or a combination thereof. All right, Dave, I'm going to let you go, buddy. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. Take care, bro. Thank you. Oh, one, th- one more thing. I'm sorry I hung up on you, Dave. If you have any food allergies or food, uh, any kind of uh, food intolerances, that can make matters worse. So you got to work on the digestive system. Always work on the digestive system first. Always, always, always. Good morning. Quince in Florida. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Ben, fantastic. We really, our life is so enriched by your show. We really appreciate you you doing the show. Thank you. For years, you've been discussing rebounders. And finally, after much research, I ordered the Bellicon 49-incher, and it is so beautiful. And what I've noticed with the thing is that I can multitask. I can do things that really require a lot of concentration. And then you reach a brick wall where you burn out. I get on yeah. the Bellicon, and I bounce on it for about 60 seconds, and boom, I have a system reset. Oh, no that is joke. awesome. That no is joke. awesome. So thank have you, you for, ha- for hounding on thank that. You, thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Hey, have you tried it in the morning, first thing in the morning? I, we, I set my alarm on my computer for every 20 minutes, and I just simply get up. I bounce oh, that's for awesome. 30 seconds, 
and I have I, it's just a system reset. It's awesome. That is so cool. Well, what's the? I don't know what the Bellicon is. It's the, Spell it's it for the me first Porsche of, all. of rebounders. Look up okay. Bellicon. It's B E L L. It's B E L L C O N. Yeah. Okay, and it's uh, how much is it? Uh, I got the top of the line one, but they start around four hundred. Mine was nice. around eight, eight. But I tell you what, when you get on there, it feels like you're weightless. It's just that is absolutely so cool. beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Appreciate it. Take care, Quince. Thank Have a beautiful day, man. Take thank care. You, thank Bye-bye. you, Ben. Bye bye. Love my rebounder. I don't. I hadn't heard about the Bellicon, but I love mine, which is a cheapo one. Got it for sixty bucks at at a sporting goods store. I'm gonna have to look that up. Bellicon. All right, Bob in Minneapolis. Oh man, I hung up on Bob. I hit the wrong button, Bob. I'm sorry. I do that all the time. Bob, if you if uh, you got a couple minutes here, if you call back, uh, we'll get you up. And uh, if not, we'll take you tomorrow. And I apologize. That's my bad. All right, so we got a couple minutes here. Actually, we got about a minute. So I want to tell you a couple more things here that I wanted to talk about earlier. If Bob doesn't call back. This is from New Scientist Magazine, which I absolutely love. It's, uh, and I've talked about it before. New Scientist Magazine has got great stories uh, that are very easy to read and a lot of great health stories. This is, from, this is about cholesterol. This is a cover story called Down with Cholesterol. Have we got the heart attack fat all wrong? February uh, of this year. Uh, and it's a, it's a really cool article about the baloney which you know if you've been listening to this program, associated with the heart disease. And it's not written by doctors. It's written by scientists, which are different from doctors. Doctors are not scientists, and that's the big problem. All right, we got Bob back. Yeah, doctors practice clinical chemistry. This is different from biochemistry, and that's a very important distinction that we want to make if we're going to really take advantage of, of our health and health strategies. All right, I'm sorry, Bob. What's going no, on, fine, man? That's fine. What's going on, bro? I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick. Yes, sir. Vitamin E... Uh, the two classes, you know, the, the mixed uh, tocopherols or to, uh, tocotrienols and tocopherols. Uh, yes. H- how much in quantity of each? Because I know you mentioned 400, you know, international units of the whole vitamin, but I have a How do you divide it up? You, there's no, no real yeah, way to know. I it up in milligrams. There's no way to know. There's no way to know. I mean, you could do 800. You could do 400 of each. You could do 200 of each. There's really no way to know. Well, I, I wish it was a different... Like, what if it's an imbalance, yeah, like 10 and uh, 400? You could do it that way. There's no way to know. Then there's no way to know oh. about imbalances or the right balances. There's just no way to know. I wish I could give you a definitive answer. A lot of this is just uh, trial and error and experience and see how you feel. I would be dividing them up in equal parts, but again, it's just there's nobody, anybody who tells you they know, they're not correct. There's no way to know. And that's unfortunate. You just got to experiment, trial and error. I would be using them both, though. And I would be doing okay. it you know, 50-50 somehow. Thanks for your call, okay. Bob. Appreciate it. And yep. that is it. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com or Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with wrinkles or anti-aging, you're, you're interested in anti-aging, or if you have hyperpigmentation, or also for acne. And speaking of acne, I haven't talked about my Truth Blemish Repair Complex, which is my anti-acne supplement that's also very good for your liver. In fact, I designed it to be a liver supplement. So it's a liver supplement and as well as a skin health supplement made with NAC and vitamin E and selenium. A lot of cool nutrients and high doses of them, not just window dressing type nutrients. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.